Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. Today I'm showing you how to scrape NBA data using the NBA API package found in this GitHub repository. This was put together by Shwar Patel. It's a really well-documented uh, module. It allows you to connect directly to the NBA, the NBA.com API and to pull data from there. It is very robust. There's a lot of different API endpoints and I wanted to put together this tutorial just to show you how to get started so that you can kind of self-service and explore this on your own. Now one of the focuses of my channel is making data science, sports analytics, etc. as accessible to as many people as possible and this all starts with knowing where and how to get the data. So hopefully this tutorial should serve as a starting place about you know, where to actually go to look for this information, how to, you know, how to work through uh, an API architecture like this. And then once we have all of those things together, eventually you can start doing your own analysis with these things. Let's start just by looking through the table of contents. So you can see that, um, you know, Basically, these are all of the APN end API endpoints here. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of data that you can get through this thing. And again, this community is, is pretty well established. Everything is up to date. People are fairly responsive with the issues. And so I really have to, to commend uh, Schwar and whoever else is working on this for, for what they've put together so far. In the description below, I'll put the githubs of all of the main contributors as well as a link to this repo. I'll also include a link to the write-up that I did about this. So if you know video isn't necessarily for you, you can follow along using that write-up at playingnumbers.com. I'll also include the link to my github for the code, the exact code that I'm using in this video. As usual, please hit that like button if this video is useful to you. It really helps me to grow my channel through the YouTube algorithm. In addition to that, if you're interested in more videos at the intersection of data science and sports analytics, please consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to be using the spider IDE for this. It's more of a data science IDE, but you're welcome to use what, whatever development environment you are most comfortable with. I also use Anaconda, which is another data science platform, and you can download that. You know, there's a link in the description below. This is generally what most data scientists use. It has a lot of, uh, you know, different data science tools associated with it here. So if this is your first time downloading this package, what you have to do is you pip install MBA API. I do this because I use Anaconda from the Anaconda prompt. You can do just, you know, and it'll come up. So then we do pip install uh, MBA API. It'll obviously say that I already have it, but if you were first installing it, it would look like this. If you're on a Mac, you would do this from the terminal. If you don't have Anaconda, you can just do it from the command prompt here. Now let's close these. Okay, now let's jump in and get started with the code here. So one thing that we saw with this package is that we had these, uh, these, static, uh, these static tables, and then we also had the endpoints. So in order for us to make use of this, we have to figure out how to get individual players that we want to send as parameters to the endpoints and do the same thing with teams. So what we're first going to do, I'm going to show you how to get a, you know, data for a specific player and for a specific team to get their player IDs and team IDs. And then I'll show you how to actually send these individual player and team IDs to the API endpoint so you can get more data coming back to you. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to import the module. So we're going to, no, okay, sorry. So from mba api dot stats dot static so this is where we get all of the player information import players great so let's just try and find an in 
an individual player from this like giant player dictionary. So we're gonna make a player dictionary. And this is gonna be player is equal to players dot get players. Okay, so after we do that, we'll see we have this giant dictionary of, in theory, every player that this NBA API has access to. Each player has an ID, their full name, their first name, and also their last name. I believe it also has an is active status. So we can see if they're active. Cool. So the way that we query the actual NBA.com endpoint is we generally use the ID of the player or the ID of the team. So let's try and get an individual player. So how we do this, let's get LeBron. So we're gonna call this Bron is equal to player for player in player dict. So this is just a for loop in brackets and then we're gonna use a tenary operator if player full name equals LeBron games. And then just for some, because of some semantics, we're gonna to have to take the first entry of what that returns. So as you can see, we've gotten LeBron, which is good. This means that we're on the right track here. If we want just his player ID, we can do Bron ID equals Bron ID. And that should return just his player ID, which is 2554. So we can do a very similar process to get a, an individual team ID. So we do from NBA API.stats.static import teams. And we also we do a team dict, oops, dict equal to teams.get teams. And so we should see again, very similar process. We have all of the team IDs and you know the city, full name, ID, year founded, etc. So let's say that we want the Golden State Warriors, for example, here. We could really copy a lot of this code. So we're gonna do instead of Braun, Golden State Warriors, so for team. Or team in team dict if team dot uh, full name is the same is equal to let's do Golden State. Cool. So this whole thing should again return oh, it looks like my module is not working but this should return just golden state as you can see if we want um, the ID we can do GSW ID it's going to say Warriors ID and that should return just the ID that we're looking for here so it looks like it's 161 0612744 is the Golden State team ID. With this information, you should be able to find the individual players and the individual teams that you're looking for. If you want to do more than one player, more than one team, you can you know, run a loop through and, and get a bunch of different IDs, or you can run a loop and get a collection of different IDs to pass into this API. So now let's jump to the fun part. Let's actually try to get all of the games that and the stats for those games that LeBron has played in throughout the course of his career. So we're going to use the endpoint player game log. So it's going to be uh, from NBA no, under NBA API dot stats dot endpoints this time. So we're actually using one of the NBA endpoints. We're going to import the player game log endpoint. Great. So the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to do, 
we're just going to create a variable game log from and that is going to equal player game log dot player game log and then we're going to pass in his player id so we're going to have player id and that is equal to 2544 and if we just do this it will include just the most recent seasons data so if we want season equal to let's say 2017 it'll only include the games that were in 2017 it looks like when we do it this way it doesn't include the 2017 2018 season but for this use case that's fine you can just you know run this multiple times or i'll show you a way where you can set some um, you can include all of the seasons as well. So we're just going to do the 2017 season. And then if we want to actually make this useful to us, we turn it into a pandas library. So up here, I'm going to import pandas as pd. Pandas is one of the best data science libraries. And that's something that I pretty much use in every video that I make. So we're going to do game log well let's just look at this variable real quick so let's see what it spits out um okay so that it's just an object and so we're gonna do game log from data frame is equal to game log from dot uh let's see here get uh get data frames and so now we'll be able to see this turned into a data frame here. All right. So it looks like for this, we're going to want to use that. So we're going to get the first data frame in this. There we go. And so now we can see all of the, which season it is, 2017, the player ID, which is LeBron, the actual game ID, the game date, the matchup, if they won or lost, and then a bunch of LeBron's individual statistics, which I think is really cool. That is the basis for a lot of analysis that you'd really need to do here. So if we wanted to, this is something that is a little bit confusing. We can pass in a created pr parameter so that we can see all of LeBron's data. So from, from MBA API dot, uh, let me see, I believe it is library dot parameters oh sorry mba stats dot library dot parameters import season all and so this is what we can pass into this season parameter that will give us all of the seasons that lebron has played so let's do that and then we'll just run the same thing again um we're gonna call this Game log LeBron all, we're gonna call this one all. And then instead of season here, we're gonna do season all dot all. And as you should be able to see here, it'll take just a little bit longer because it's a bigger data call. Um, that didn't work out at all. Uh, oh, it's because I did game log Bron. We want game log Bron all. There we go. Now we should be in business. There we go. Now we got a thousand, um, a thousand rows rather than just 82 where we were looking at just games in 2017. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is show you how to get all games from a specific team. So we're going to use the League Game Finder endpoint to do this. So from NBA API dot dot stats dot endpoints import and it is going to be the league game finder great and so rather than doing this in two lines i figure i'll show you how to do it in one it might save you some time uh, it might look a little cleaner it, it's up to you but so we're going to do again golden state warriors games and we're going to set that equal to league Game finder dot league game finder and then we're gonna do team ID nullable 
equals the GSW ID that we created up here. So now we want to do, we're just going to add the get uh, data frames and we're going to take that first slice of it. Let's see how we do. do, do, do. Perfect. So this will give us all of the games Golden State has played since they have been a team in the league. I think, again, this data set is particularly useful. I would definitely check out some of the different capabilities of the different endpoints. There's probably a way to get any of the information that you would want or that you would find useful here. After you've checked out those endpoints, please leave in the comment section below any of them that you'd like me to look into and explain further in a future video. This is really just scratching the surface of the capability of this NBA and API package. I think that this is again an awesome, an awesome, awesome uh, you know code base. And kudos to the guys that created it. I really think that this can help a lot of people find the data they want create really cool projects, and perhaps get involved in data science or the sports analytics field. As usual, thank you so much for watching, and good luck on your data science and sports analytics journey.